Well, across the country, candlelight vigils honoring all law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. A specialist, Alex Cabrero, live at the Fallen Officers Memorial at the State Capitol for us tonight. Alex, always an emotional ceremony. It certainly is, Mike. There are now 139 names on this memorial here. The latest officer killed in the line of duty, Officer Doug Barney with the Unified Police Department who was shot and killed this past January. It is important to always remember the sacrifices our law enforcement officers make. It is just as important to remember the sacrifices our military makes. We met one man today whose goal is to make sure people never forget. Old guys in motorcycles go together like Ben Gay and dentures. That's experience. <laughs> Bruce Heilman has heard all the jokes, but at 89 years old, still riding his Harley, he's the one really laughing. I do it because it's a part of living your life to the fullest. He's had plenty of friends who never fully lived their life. Memorial Day is more than hot dogs and marshmallows and that we ought to recognize in everything we do that our freedom comes from our military. You see, Heilman is a World War II veteran, fought as a Marine in the Battle of Okinawa, even survived a plane crash in Iwo Jima. This cross-country ride to Arlington National Cemetery is to remember those troops who never made it home. Somebody says there's a 90-year-old guy riding a motorcycle 6,000 miles, and they'll say, well, I want to see that guy then they don't know it, but I'm telling them something important. The Patriot Guard riders met him in Utah today and escorted him into Salt Lake City. Not that he needed one, even at his age. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm 62 and I'm hurting all over and I'm going, well, if he can do it, I can do it, <laughs> you know. Still an inspiration, all jokes aside. The public forgets everything that they're not reminded of. The Patriot Guard riders will escort Heilman to Evanston, Wyoming this Sunday where he will continue on to Arlington National Cemetery. Now, Washington, D.C. is also where the National Law Enforcement Memorial is. That's where next week officers from across the country who were killed in the line of duty last year, their names will be added to that memorial. Mike? Yeah, nice memorial. Nice story. Alex, thank you. Kevin, not